welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the cell phone video, but there was no way I was getting out my big camera and setting up my lights and doing the whole shebang. I've been trying to make this video for over a week, and people who say it's harder to go from one kid to two kids than it is to go from two kids to three kids, they lied. <laughs> I have been overwhelmed and maxed out the last week and so I'm just now getting a chance to do this video so cell phone is all you guys get today. But hopefully you'll still appreciate the information. In today's video I'm going to tell you guys how I drop down to my new lower prescription, what we call normalized, and how I do that is something that is called the zero diopter reset. Now this is really important just psychologically when you switch to a lower prescription. I find that it really helps me transition a lot more easily into my lower prescription. So these are my new glasses. I just got them and they are really cute. I do like them. So if you have to wear glasses, you might as well get cute ones, right? And I transitioned to these about a week ago and here is how I did it. The first thing I do when I get a new pair of glasses is when I wake up in the morning, I do not put my glasses on. And I try to do this pretty much every day anyway, where I go at least the first 20 minutes of the day without any glasses at all. But particularly when I'm switching to my new normalized, I will not wear my glasses. I will try to do as much as I can during the morning without my glasses. On top of that, I like to get outside, make sure I get some good distance active focus in. So that usually means for me going for a walk, usually taking the baby in the stroller and looking in the distance at the power lines and the trees and anything with high contrast, road signs, things like that. Then when I come back from my walk, I have a Snellen that I have up in my garage. So it's getting good natural daylight, but it's not in direct sunlight. I stand 20 feet back from that and I look at that with my naked eye. So I forgot to mention, so the whole walk outside, that's all naked eye, no glasses. So when I come back from my walk, I see how far down on that chart I can read. And as of right now, I'm able to read the 2025 line with some difficulty. It's, it's, um, I get flashes of clarity and it's definitely much more clear than it was before. It takes me a few seconds to kind of relax into it and to um, have my vision sharpen up, but after a few seconds, I can read the 2025 line with my naked eye on my outdoor Snellen. Then once I've done all that, then I really get a good feel. I look around me and I see, I really think about how clearly I'm able to see everything without my glasses. Then I take out my new normalized glasses and I usually don't put them on yet. I like to come back inside and then I stand 20 feet from my indoor Snellen and I look at that and I blink and I relax and I active focus and I see how far down I can read that in the indoor light with my naked eye. Now it's a lot less than outdoor. I'm able to read about 20, 40 depending on um, whether I'm hydrated, whether I had a glass of wine the night before, how much sleep I got, how many times the baby woke me up. So all of those factors um, come into consideration depending on how far down I can read, but usually it's around the 2040 line, especially if I've just been outside and I've just done my active distance focus um, outside. <clears throat> so I'll come back in, I will take kind of a baseline on that indoor Snellen, and then once I've done all those things, then, I put on my new normalized prescription. And when I put those on, it is, it's really dramatic, the difference, because my eyes have already become used to seeing quite well without the glasses. So these glasses, I specifically got a prescription that would give me about 2050 indoors. Now outdoors with these, I can see 2020, um, or 2025, depending on the lighting. So these are really good outdoors. I'm getting to the point where I don't even hardly wear them when I go outdoors, unless of course I'm driving. But when I go out in the morning to milk the goats, I don't wear my glasses. When I go out on walks, I don't wear my glasses at all. But indoors is when I really need them because indoors you have artificial lighting, which is not as good. You have lower lighting and things are just um, blurrier inside in general. So I have those set to give me 20, 
50 vision indoors. Sometimes I will get 2040 or even 2030, depending on how much active focus I've been doing and also whether I've been limiting my screen time and my close up time. So that is how I transition to my new normalized glasses. If this is my first vision improvement video you have watched, I encourage you to go to my natural vision improvement playlist and watch the start here video. That's very important. If you're just jumping in here, more than likely you're going to be quite confused. You don't know what a normalized is. You don't know why I'm reducing my prescriptions. Definitely don't um, take anything I say as advice, as medical advice. You are responsible for your own eyes. Please read the disclaimer in the description. And if you want to learn more about reducing your myopia, healing your myopia, improving your vision naturally, please check out the links in the description. I will link to some of the resources that I have found to be most helpful for me. I don't get compensated for any of this. I'm just sharing my own personal journey so that you guys can follow along and see that this really does work. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.